underwater mega projects of all time. Hey everyone, welcome to our channel. If you're new here, welcome. Consider subscribing to my channel and click that little bell notification below. Mega projects are large scale, complex projects that often cost a billion dollars or more to plan, take several years to design and build, involve multiple public and private partners, are transformational, and affect millions of people. Mega projects are becoming the preferred method of delivery for goods and services in a variety of organizations and sectors. So today, let's see some of the most amazing underwater mega projects of all time. Number 12. Atlantis, the Palm Dubai. Atlantis is an iconic entertainment destination made up of two world-class resorts that provide you with an amazing experience. The Palm Underwater Suite is a quiet haven with enormous floor-to-ceiling windows into a 65,000 marine animal aquarium in Dubai. Each Atlantis Underwater Suite is 165 square meters and spreads across three levels. The upper reception floor, with its panoramic hall and entry, leads directly to the sweeping staircase and down into the stunning aquatic-themed dining and living area. The view from the living room's twin windows is of the Ambassador Lagoon and the Aqua Venture Water Park beyond. You can float away the evening in your marble bathtub with views of the Ambassador Lagoon and watch sharks, rays, and fish glide right by your bed. Number 11. Seikon Tunnel Seikon Tunnel is 53.8 kilometers long, 23.3 kilometers of which are beneath the Sugaru Strait, which separates Honshu from Hokkaido. Construction on the tunnel began in 1971 and was finished in 1988. The Seikon Tunnel is the world's second longest tunnel, following the Goddard Base Tunnel in Switzerland, which opened in 2016. With its track located 140 meters below the seabed, it's also the second deepest transit tunnel below sea level after Norway's Rafilki Tunnel, which opened in 2019. The tunnel carries a rail line, and its construction was funded by the Japanese National Railways. Number 10. The Channel Tunnel The Channel Tunnel, often known as Euro Tunnel, is a rail tunnel that connects England and France and runs beneath the English Channel. The Channel Tunnel is 50 kilometers long and is made up of three tunnels, two for rail traffic and one for services and security. Passengers can travel by regular rail carriage or in their own cars, which are put onto special rail cars. Trains can travel through the tunnel at speeds of up to 160 km per hour, and the journey takes roughly 35 minutes. It has a 37.8 km long undersea section that's dug at an average depth of 40 meters below the seabed. The two undersea crossovers add flexibility to operations by allowing trains to travel from one railway tunnel to the other, especially during maintenance. Number 9. Dalian Undersea Tunnel the Bohai Strait Tunnel, also known as the Dalian Yantai Tunnel, is a proposed undersea tunnel construction project that would connect Dalian on the Laodong Peninsula with Yantai on the Shandong Peninsula across the Bohai Strait. The project is officially known as the Bohai Strait Cross Sea Traffic Way. The tunnel would be 123 kilometers long, 90 kilometers of which would be underwater, crossing the Bohai Strait. This would be longer than the combined lengths of the world's two longest undersea tunnels, the Seikan Tunnel and the Channel Tunnel. The tunnel would connect to the Chinese high-speed railway system, and cars would be loaded onto railway carriages for the 40-minute journey. The Bohai Train Ferry, which was established in 2007, currently travels the strait in 8 hours. Number 8. Femarn Belt Underwater Tunnel The world's longest immersed tunnel, which will descend up to 40 meters beneath the Baltic Sea, will connect Denmark and Germany, reducing travel times between the two nations when it opens in 2029. It will connect the Danish island of Lolland to the German island of Fermarn by bridging the Baltic Sea's 18-kilometer-wide Fermarn Belt. With a building expenditure of more than 7 billion euros, this is one of Europe's largest infrastructure projects. Number 7. Tuan Moon Chek Lap Kok Link Golder Associates needed to build a tunnel beneath the ocean surface in Hong Kong, overcoming the complex geological challenges of the area. The link required to include a dual two-lane undersea tunnel with a record-breaking depth of 55 meters below the surface, 4.1 kilometers in length, and a total development cost of 6.1 billion US dollars. Anyway, the Tuen Moon Chek Lap Kok Link now connects Hong Kong and reduces travel time between Tuen Moon and Hong Kong International Airport to about 10 minutes. Number 6. Indo-Arabian Floating Railway Dubai has long been known as the home of spectacular infrastructure. They intended to start a train that runs beneath the sea to transport both people and oil and other supplies from Mumbai to Dubai. This idea arose from a desire to promote tourism between India and the United Arab Emirates. 
This exhilarating or horrifying underwater travel would take two hours to complete the 2,000 kilometer voyage. The concept illustration depicted a long tube suspended and maintained in place by a network of floating rigs just beneath the surface of the Arabian Sea. Number 5. Norway Underwater Highway Driving from Trondheim in the north to Christiansen in the south takes a hard 21 hours and 7 boat crossings. Norway intends to reduce this drive time to 11 hours by constructing huge concrete tunnels to assist travelers crossing the fjords. These tunnels, however, do not simply dig through the bedrock beneath the fjords. Two sections of a curving concrete tube more than 4,000 feet long will be sunk 66 feet below the Norwegian sea surface and float for making it easier for ships to pass over the tunnel. These two tunnels will be built across the fjords between Trondheim and Christiansand in the north and Christiansand in the south. The two 4,000-foot-long concrete tubes would be broad enough to accommodate two lanes, one for emergencies and repair work, and one for travel. Number 4. Shanghai Underwater Quarry Hotel The intercontinental Shanghai Wonderland is a luxury hotel in Songzhang, Shanghai's core, 40 minutes from the Shanghai National Exhibition and Convention Center. The hotel was built on the site of an abandoned quarry and, interestingly, has underwater rooms. It's the world's first quarry hotel designed to have as little influence on the surrounding ecosystem as possible. The 337 guest room Intercontinental Shanghai Wonderland Hotel is located in an 88 meter deep, water filled, disused quarry and has only two floors above ground, with 16 more levels falling into the pit below. Number 3. Taihu Tunnel China recently completed the world's longest underwater tunnel. The tunnel is part of the Shangju Wuxi Highway, which is completed on December 30th, 2021. It serves as an alternate highway between Shanghai and Nanjing, the capital of Jiangsu. The 10.79 km Taihu Tunnel beneath Lake Taihu in Jiangsu Province, eastern China, took four years to complete. The tunnel, on which construction began on January 9th, 2018, cost around $1.56 billion. Over 2 million cubic meters of concrete were utilized to construct the six-lane, two-way tunnel. The tunnel ceiling has been decked with colorful LED lights to minimize driver fatigue. Number 2. Taiwan Strait Tunnel The Taiwan Strait Tunnel project is an undersea tunnel proposed as part of the G3 Beijing Taipei Expressway that would connect Pingtan and mainland China to Sinchu in Taiwan. The project, which was first proposed in 1996, has since been the topic of numerous scholarly discussions and research projects, including those conducted by the China Railway Engineering Corporation. Anyhow, Chinese engineers could come up with a plan for creating the longest transport tunnel in the world, a 135-kilometer link that would connect Taiwan with the mainland. The project, which was approved in 2016, has a speculative cost estimate of $80 billion. All the projects we saw so far are either built or under construction. Now let me end this with an amazing concept project which we might be lucky to see someday. Number 1. Lady Landfill Skyscraper Lady Landfill Skyscraper, which received an honorable mention in the 2011 architecture competition, is a skyscraper intended as a floating island with the primary goal of removing non-biodegradable items from water. The idea is to collect and recycle waste while using it as a source of energy. The lower segment of the tower gathers and stores plastic garbage until it can be recycled in the tower's middle section. Over the recycling facilities is business space, followed by residential space that protrudes above the water.